Now let's see this operation or let's see this problem. We are under calculus treating limit. All right. Now this question says, evaluate the limit if it exists. Lim as a approaches zero. Square root of x plus a minus square root of x all over a. Square root of x plus a minus square root of x all over a. So you say evaluate this limit as a approaches zero. You discover that if you are to fix zero wherever you see a, you are going to have zero all over zero. So to avoid this, what are we going to do? Now pay attention. We are having lim as uh, a approaches zero. Square root of x plus a minus square root of x all over a. Now, this function, we are going to multiply this function by the conjugate all over the conjugate. That is the conjugate of the numerator. That's what we're going to take and then multiply it all over the conjugate. Hmm? Do you get what I'm saying? That means this function that we have, we're going to pick the numerator, the conjugate of the numerator, and then multiply this same function by the conjugate all over the same conjugate. You get what I'm saying? Now, the conjugate is simply you take the numerator and then change the sign that is separating the two terms. Okay, now let me show you what I, I am trying to say. So, we're going to have lim as a approaches zero, square root of x plus a minus square root of x all over a. Then we're going to say times the conjugate now is square root of x plus a plus square root of x all over the same thing, square root of x plus a plus square root of x do you understand this yes this is operation that requires conjugate operation that is when we have a uh, square root okay so now let's see what we are going to do here we have lim as a approaches zero let's take them together and then put them in bracket so we are going to have square root of x plus a minus square root of x in bracket times square root of x plus a plus square root of x in bracket all over a then square root of x plus a plus square root of x in bracket do you see this right good now to perform the uh, the operation in the numerator the times so this is what we we'll simply have we're going to have lim as a approaches zero x plus a in bracket minus x please for the sake of this problem i created a video okay that i titled uh conjugate operation please uh, watch that video so that you understand what i did here okay please try and watch it okay so i used a shortcut so in that video i explained it in full now let's go we have lim as a approaches zero x plus a minus x all over a square root of x plus a plus square root of x you know in the numerator if you perform the operation this is what you arrived at now let's go let's open the bracket in the numerator so if you open the bracket we're going to have x minus x which will give you what zero remaining a so we're going to have lean as a approaches zero a all over a open bracket square root of x plus a plus square root of x okay good now from here now we're going to have a divided by a a divided by a in the numerator what will you give you it will give you one that means you are having one in the numerator now and then a divided by a in the denominator you're going to have what one then one multiplied by the other terms to remain the same okay so we are going to have lim as a approaches zero one all over square root of x plus a plus square root of x okay so that means 
from here now there's nothing much we can do let's plug in our value zero we're gonna have lim as a approaches zero one all over square root of x plus zero that is we'll plug in zero now okay square root of x plus zero plus square root of x so square root of x plus zero it should give you any number you add zero it will remain the same okay so that means we are going to have lim as a approaches zero one all over square root of x plus square root of x square root of x plus square root of x you know this is something like orange plus orange it's going to give you what two oranges so we are going to have lim as a approaches zero we're going to have one all over two square root of x okay square root of s plus square root of s will give you two square root of s okay so we're going to have lim as a approaches zero one all over two square root of x yes 